In this chapter you will learn how to perform integrated system diagnostics on your devices and modules. The system diagnostics are automatically set up when a device is configured and without writing even a single line of code. In the case of an open circuit, for example, the device then automatically detects a fault and sends the diagnostics data to the assigned controller. The controller then displays the error signal on all the display media. This means that you can localize the fault very quickly and resolve it. How is that done in the TIA portal? System diagnostics are activated as standard for controllers from the Simatic S7-1500 family. In order to view diagnostics information via the TIA portal, you must set up an online connection to the controller. The symbols in the project navigation and the network view give you an initial overview of the status of your devices. To find out more information about a faulty device, double-click on it. In the device view, faulty modules are marked with a red branch symbol. Click on this to navigate to the diagnostics view for the device, where you will find all the information about the fault. Alternatively, system diagnostics messages can also be displayed via the inspector window. In addition to this, the diagnostics message also appears on the display of the S7-1500 and in the system diagnostics display on the operating device. System diagnostics in the TIA portal are integrated in all the firmware of supported controllers and activated as standard. And there is no need to write even a single line of code. 